the intent behind this bill is to curb any employer from requiring something uh, off the cuff, out of the handbook, for someone to take. And if they if they do require that, mandate that, however you look at that, uh, and there's damages done by that, then then that pl that employer would be liable for those damages. It sounds to me like there's language in this bill that is suggesting that an employer utilize a tool that is actually not available to them to protect themselves. So we created a shot that didn't exist. So surely an insurance company could create a policy that doesn't exist. Do you know of any situations where an required immunization was not covered by workman's comp? I wouldn't be able to honestly answer that. If an employer decides to make that decision to make the immunization required for their workforce, the employee then has the opportunity and the decision to decide whether to continue on at that job or find another job that is more suitable to their personal beliefs, no? Our stance on this remains very simple. Let business decide. Missouri has a free enterprise system, so we do not believe that government should be intervening in a business's legal right to require vaccines in the workplace. Every employer is different, and they're gonna know best how to run their business. The potential, again, for attorneys to make windfalls on the backs of businesses, that is a huge concern of ours, and that's why we are here today in opposition. So I sat here before you tonight on behalf of the Kansas City Chamber and its members, large and small, to tell you that this is horrible, horrible public policy. For years, this body, this chamber has protected that right of employers to say, hey, we have everything to lose. We should be the ones that make the decision on what our employment rules are. The fact of the matter is, as you sit there, you're dictating what people like me 20 years ago had on the line. And I don't think that's right. The people I represent don't think that's right.